Greetings, welcome back to Fable 3. I was just exploring a little bit of new fields when I found this place, this little dank water cave. I've never been here. <laughs> Guess I just... what do you have in here? What do you mean? There's nothing here, doggy. Or at least nothing I, I can get from here. So, yeah, I actually somehow managed to avoid this place. Every time I've played this game. Anyway, I just... Usually at this point I'm... Just going straight for the end because I'm, I've had enough. There you are, you bugger. Okay, we only f need 15 more gnomes to kill. Also, I. I'm thinking about creating my own maps with Fable 3 because, you know, we will be playing this game again anyway to get... oh my god oh. to get ourselves a evil god damn it, stop it play for so once I'm... oh for fuck's sake leave me alone once I'm done with main quest, I'm gonna take my time, walk around, and make myself a very nice map. Where the hell are you? You might be on the other side of this. Oh, yeah, he is on the other side. Thank you, doggy. Okay, just give me a second, I'll get rid of you. You don't have to be. Wait, what? How? Okay, that was my fault. Wait. Oh my god. Really? What the? Okay, now you've got to be kidding me. I'm standing right in front of him. I beat no. Really? What the hell is wrong with this one? Why it can't be hit? Also, I hate when he puts away his weapon. Okay, I don't know whether I'm stupid. How is it possible to not him not get hit? Thank you, god damn it. What's that? Treasure? Thank you. <laughs> I think I've managed to find myself. Practical Prince Gloves. I think we have those. And we have this way up. This is the way we used to get in here. Okay, so let's go here. Try not to get. For fuck's sake! <laughs> oh my god. Be very interesting. I hope this place is not like chill breath. Okay. Caverns. Although it looks like it might be. What? There's no way of get me getting through there. Is there any way to, of going down there? Is that just. No. 
You can look, but you cannot touch thing. I think it might be the case because it's quite empty down there. This play this way is blocked off. So yeah, I think this is the end of our little cave infested with hops and gnomes. And I actually didn't quite find what, found what I was looking for. But again, he says there's some sort, sort of treasure. Where is it though? Yeah, somewhere there it help doesn't help me really. I'm sorry the gate cannot get on the other side of the of this wall. Maybe we'll find another cave that's connected to this one. But okay. First of all, we have a silver key to collect here, and there were some uh, ripples Up here with pearl. Okay, where the hell am I? Okay, actually, I know where I am. That's new. And they're fighting with bandits, so I'm not gonna But in No let them do what they want. Can I jump the water here? Because is yeah, there's something near that waterfall and I Sorry, I had to sneeze. Okay, I'll go the long way around. Oh, I hate those changes of camera. Wait a second, there's nothing here as far as I can see. Come on, thank you, Dave. Come on, you can do this. And another ruby. And nothing beside that. We still need to find two silver keys. This place does not look big enough for seven silver keys, yet I'm still in trouble finding all of them. This we found all the gnomes. Oh, I thought it was connected! Damn it! Ah, let me out! Thank you. Is there something here? There's some grave. Charlton Edwards, run of the gas. Where's my doggy? Okay, we've lost our dog. He was a good boy. Okay, is there anything around here? Wait, I can jump off? And for me that means there has to be something around. Oh, I found him. <laughs> Don't worry anymore, we found our dog. What? Digging spot? Okay, where? Come on. Yeah. Thank you.
another pearl. Okay, so let's go back to the Bright Wolf Village one more time. And hope I'll finally get enough mutton to make myself fat enough. And of course there are none. Hmm. Don't think I can get no like the morning wood open. Well, we can always check, right? We'll show him one of our weapons. Night. Appreciate it. Where the hell is he? There? Yeah, he's up there. Is there some cave I didn't notice earlier? No, those are just rocks. Hello! Here you go. Do you like my sword? No? Uh, do you like my... This is what I'm on about. Yes! The cycle of violence and misery. If I think so. No, oh. Oh, I can see that weapon has done some killing. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure you once laid it down on a table and it accidentally squashed a biscuit weevil. Okay, so you don't appreciate it in this one. What I'm talking about hmm. is ending wars. You couldn't even begin one with that. Take that. Okay, then actually I, there's nothing for me left to do. I, by the way, I have no idea how to find those three keys, I'll go that later. Let's go meet with Finn in Dorsal Castle, even though it's pretty permanent and we won't be able to go back for a while, so... Actually, after thinking for a while, let me go back to the Millfields, Barrister Market, Industrial and Old Quarters, and I'll collect all the silver keys, I'll kill all the gnomes available, so we are done with Albion, at least for that part. So, be right back. Okay, I actually went a step further, and in addition to collecting all the silver keys and the video on the gnomes I could, I collected all the books I could. So we'll do a little bit of reading now. But as he grew older, he became obsessed with his own mortality. Actually, at first he was obsessed with someone else's mortality, but then he switched to his own. He had heard the legends of the fabled elixir of immortality and the fables of the legendary secret of the ages, so he summoned many knights of the realm and commanded them to go forth and search for the key to eternal life. So desperate was he that he decreed any knight who returned without the elixir will be executed. So none of them came back and he died in due course. It was not one of Oswald's better decrees. The first core principle of our economic theory can be summarized thusly. Greed is good for you. Now, let us clarify who we mean by you. Not you, at least not directly. Greed is directly good for the government. Because the more you spend to acquire material possessions, feed your family, etc., the stronger the economy becomes. And the more the government earns in taxes. A strong economy coupled with a strong government creates an environment in which progress is limitless and virtually anything is possible. And therein lies the indirect benefit of your greed. Of course, given your greediness, in all likelihood you will not survive long enough to benefit from society's affluence, being grossly overweight yourself. But think of your children. Yes, 
They will be predisposed to obesity and an early death, just as you were, but their short lives will be far more luxurious than yours. Which brings us to the second core principle. Quality is more important than quantity. None knew from whence they came, nor to whence they would go, upon completing their terrible orgy of bloodshed. All that was known was that they came, and Armageddon came with them. They killed everyone, and in unimaginably horrible ways. Ways that, even if they were imaginable, you wouldn't want to imagine them, believe me. Their rampage left the village decimated. And for generations, the few survivors and their offspring could barely bring themselves to speak the name of that most terrifying of evils, Puffin. The rapidity with which industry well has developed in Albion is well. nothing short of extraordinary. One need only visit one of Bowerstone Industrial's great factories to witness the majesty of modern technology and action. However, while visiting a factory, one must be aware of one's surroundings. Stand too close to expose machinery, and one could lose a finger, or even an eye. Or a spouse. And what was ultimately ruled to be a regrettable accident, wherein no party was at fault. Grease one large round cake pan. Combine flour, eggs, butter, sugar, and salt in a large mixing bowl. Beat thoroughly, then pour mixture into cake pans, bake for 30 minutes, and allow to cool. Note, this activity is, in fact, perfectly safe, and most appropriate for right before your mum discovers you've done any of the other things described in my book. Boxing is a wonderful activity for boys. The first thing you'll need, besides a mate willing to let you hit him, is a pair of boxing gloves. Uh, these can be purchased from a leather craftsman or stolen out of the locker of a boy you don't like. Uh, the idea behind boxing gloves is twofold. To protect the boxer's hands and to minimise injury to the opponent. At least, that's what you should tell your mum when you ask her to buy them for you. She'll think you sound very mature. Now, be sure to use that word twofold as well. That will really impress her. Anyway, the real point of boxing gloves is they allow you to hide large heavy metal weights which will really knock your opponent's lights out. That will teach him. Terence Posture returned from work on an otherwise uneventful day to find his wife in bed with another man. Unable to control his rage, Posture leapt upon the couple with the firm intention of killing them both. However, his hands found only one throat. When all was said and done, his wife lay dead, and the unknown adulterer had fled. I think I left one of my good shoes there, too. King Logan's greed knows no bounds. Capital work, my friend. You have brought us over half the books we need. King Logan's greed knows no bounds. How cruelly does he fleece our citizens of their hard-won coin through his onerous and unjust taxes? And how cruelly does his lick-spittle lackey, that rapacious dog Reaver, harshly exploit his poor, unfortunate workers? The time has come for change. Real change. What we need is a democracy. I know, I know, I'm always on about republics, but I did some further reading and I really think democracy offers a pretty compelling package. Shake off the yoke of monarchy, good people, and join me in the glorious struggle to create a new democracy. Or a republic is fine if you really have your heart set in that, but I do think we'd be missing out on a few things. As usual, my offer to oversee all aspects of government during the transition is still on the table. Okay, and that puts us at tw uh, 22 books collected. Oh my god, yes, I will find this one for you. Yes! Oh, fantastic! I'm 
never been so elated to have someone desecrate a grave. Not that it has come up on very really? many occasions, I grant you. Another tome for our collection. Okay, so you're talking about the secreting grave. Death and Italy Morning Wood. But not the morning wood you're thinking, I just can't speak properly. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it actually threw me away further than I would like. So let's use this and turn around. Let's go. I still keep forgetting what I need to do to have one of my weapons upgraded to maximum. Just won't stick with me. That was loud. Okay, but leaving that behind. Oh, actually when I was looking for keys and gnomes and books, I visited the road to uh, to get some upgrades and now I think we need 140 more seals <laughs> to get something up before we'll be uh, everything Nope, you don't. Man, do it faster! Don't want to die, don't you? Mm, maybe you do. Okay, I'll use it because I'm cornered! Wait, there's another one? Yeah. Wait, what? Only this grave. Oh, this is the grave of the day of the dead of the dead husband. God damn it! Come on, Nagi. Not those. No. We are supposed to desecrate a grave. Come on. I know we can do this. Hmm. Be. Ah. Oh, it's over here. Come on. No. Oh, okay, okay. Everything's fine. Just get over here. Oh, rush for it. Come on. Thank you. of the warm flesh she felt a surge within her a feeling at first that she couldn't identify it was scary but it was arousing too she had had thoughts of women before but never acted on them now it was all she could think about it made her excited as excited as she had been the night she secretly spied on garth and reva they were so forceful with each other and yet so tenderly yielding the memory of that night brought a sickeningly delicious pit to her stomach. Her pulse quickened, she let her robe slip from her shoulders and stepped into the warm bath, thinking of the two men. She began to recreate that night in her mind. Next chapter, Dark Wizard, Passionate Rogue. There was nothing happening between Garf and Reaver. God <laughs> Oh, there has to be fan fiction even in Fable, really, really. And there was definitely nothing between Hammer and Teresa, especially since Teresa cut off from everyone, really. Uh, although no, in River. 
You wouldn't really mind hooking up with Garth. Am I fat enough? Don't know. We will try the demon door again. Mm, I think this will be the last thing we do today. But tomorrow we'll be finally able to continue our main story. <laughs> After all this time of putting it aside for something else. Well, actually, if I get another side quest, I might do it first. So. I just love it when you bring oh, it. right. It fills my heart with joy. It does. I'm glad. Where do I put it? Here. Okay. You got it. Of course, I got it. I, I can't wait to read it. Apparently, the author, Miss Ilona Pureheart, wrote extensively about the adventures of the four heroes. I've heard rumors of an even rarer work of hers involving Lucian and Jack Don't. Blaze, which is odd, as I thought Jack was defeated centuries before Lucian was even born. That's true. Well, I thought Jack... Splendid work! He is known to be reborn. From that time. And I have some rather exciting news. Another one. The location of a book I've been itching to get my hands on for years. Okay. It's Reaver's autobiography. Oh no. Some time ago, it sold out instantly. The rumor is that Reaver bought up all the copies. It created a huge demand, and so the publisher did a second run, and the price went up. Then Reaver went to work for King Logan and reinvented himself as a respectable businessman. Yeah, the sure. books became a liability and every copy was located and destroyed. <laughs> but that first run is still out there, buried for eternity. Unless uh, you are so kind as to locate a copy for me. <laughs> I will. The book's called Reaver on Reaver. Not a pleasant image. Although it's possible to imagine it. One this is the worst thing. There is one slight hitch. The information I've received indicates it's bedded in Aurora, out in the deserts that surround the city. Oh well. Did I not mention that before? Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it'll be a nice trip. <laughs> it's warm, and I hear the sunsets are simply magnificent. And you'll have plenty to read when you get there. Hmm, lucky me. It's a kind of holiday, a literary adventure, a thrilling expedition. Well, I'm sure it will be interesting one way or another. You're lucky I am willing to do that. Wait, do we have another quest here? Luckily not. <laughs> okay, so. Fast trip to the millfields. Demon door. Man. Yes. And I hope I finally managed to get fat enough for it to acknowledge it. Please, hello. Well, thank you. Has followed your example. And is that really any surprise? Perhaps beauty and fashion are arbitrary. Perhaps those in power exploit our fundamental insecurities to exert control. But at least that way, things look pretty. Mm. I'll let you in, if only so I don't have to look at you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Open up. Finally, yes. <laughs> no, oh my God. I don't even remember this, but and you know what I just noticed that because of all those big cobwebs around here, there are no 
spiders in Fable. None. Okay, let's just do to rule to get one of the upgrades. Oh, I thought I missed something even more behind the end. There's a loot, as you can see, there's everything behind there. What do we have here? Is it the blade spell? No, oh, and it's 80. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it just yet. I will take this one instead, even though we don't do. We don't take any jobs. Oh well, okay. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today. Stay safe and see you soon.